double stranded break repair model is extremely important for maintaining the DNA in integrate condition inside the cell and this double stranded break repair is only possible if that cell have exact duplicate copy of that chromosome. For example, in our case, we have one copy of the chromosome from our mother, another copy from father. That's why this double stranded break repair is possible in eukaryotes, but in prokaryotes it is not possible. So what happens here, you can see that blue colored DNA is broken and we form a double stranded nick there. This nick not always forms gently like sometimes most of the time they form nicks like that. And in that case, we have a fresh copy of the same duplicate DNA here in the yellow colored region. Now there are complex and other proteins associated for this process. So let's talk about them a little bit more details. So here comes the first set of proteins that actually produce this type of DNA structure. They are called RPA. They process the terminal part of the double stranded break and finally bring it to the active portion. Once the RP activity is done, then they'll bring upon other proteins like BRCA2 and RAD52. So these are the BRCA, so these are the RAD51 molecules denoted here in pink color and they bring the RAD52 and BRCA complex and this, this purple colored molecule here is the BRCA2 and RAD52 uh, complex. So RAD52 along with RAD51 which are pink start to associate themselves into the terminal region of that double stranded break and they will process this neck and then finally they will guide those DNA strand to be inserted to the right and proper good DNA strand that is present which is unedited and unbroken and they will guide this DNA through the process and then the new nucleotides will be added into that position by comparing the other strands that are present naturally. After the nucleotides fill these positions then the rest of the NICs will start to form and they will form the Holliday junction. Then endonuclease molecules, endonuclease enzymes will come and they will resolve these Holliday junctions and then ligase will come and join this NIC and we get the recombinant DNA and finally that completes the process of double stranded break repair.